Got an Ira Bolt. No, I live on one. Duh. and tribulations and panic and worry and stress. It was the alternator. The trouble is with boats, the trouble is with cars, the trouble with anything electrical. If there are problems and it's electric, you're almost on like a bit of a uh, ghost hunt until you can narrow it down. Or you have some very good experienced help, which is what happened in our case. So we've had um, two engineers look at this and scratch their heads and it wasn't until we got into the system a little bit more that um, things started to lead to the alternator. So it just goes to show, we've been very lucky in having Sandra looking at all our electrics. Um, at first we thought it was the master kill switch on the uh, engine, you know, the um, contacts had eroded too much. Um, but it wasn't. That was replaced. Um, and then, so all the wires going into the control box in the engine room, all those um, endings and connections were replaced. So we knew all the connections were good. Um, and that's what led us down to the alternator path. So some of you very clever peeps out there, you knew. Or well, you definitely um, pointed us in that direction. If only if only we'd had you about six months ago, that would have been ace. <laughs> but the relief that now the electrics have done, oh, I can't tell you. It's been, it just feels so, it does feel like a weight off my shoulders. I'm slouching now, but it does feel like that. Um, especially on a day to day, it's really sunny. It's a beautiful, warm, autumnish day and I'm charging quite a few things and we're still on float because we've got that much power coming in through the solar panels. Yeah, it's um, it's made such a difference this week. I mean last weekend we actually went out, sort of celebrated. Although the alternator was only fitted on Monday, we kind of knew the end was in sight. So um, we went out for a meal in on the Wirral, which is quite near us now. Um, then we went to Chester in the morning, had breakfast at um, a really nice little cafe, restaurant cafe, um, called Jaunty Goat. Um, we went there the first time after our uh, trip around, the, our hike around the Slate Trail. So if you're in Chester and you're vegan or veggie, uh, we highly recommend the Jaunty Goat and vegan tapas on the Wirral. Um, what else have we done? So not a lot really, We've, we haven't done any of the big things that we're planning, but because we've been waiting to get the electric sorted, um, we have planted up um, probably 50% of the veg patch now. theory is in these which have been very kindly given to us by subscriber Mike thanks very much Mike much appreciated so I'm going to try and grow um, two with lettuce in I'm gonna try two with spring onions in so let's get the spring onion ones done it's so nice today the sun is gorgeous a bit windy still but can't complain about that, can we? A couple of kale plants growing, um, some lettuce and some cabbages. Um, I've just done some raised air pots. 
Um, and a friend from the top of the moorings, he's just given me a strawberry plant and some chocolate mint. So I'm looking forward to trying that when it gets going. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of relaxing. I've had a portrait that I needed to do. I've got another portrait to do. So we're, we are quite busy art wise as well and working full time and blah, -de blah, blah. But yeah, I'm certainly not complaining because now the electric's done. It's like a different world, man. And it feels so good. I'm reading all the horror stories of how um, energy prices are like doubling in some cases. It's just crazy to, to now be off grid. Yeah. Anyway, I've just had a little tidy up. We're ready for Shell coming home. So it's Friday today. She should have finished work 20 minutes ago. So she should be here in about 10 minutes. And we're just gonna have, I think we're gonna go and pick some rose hips. But yeah, to make rose hip syrup for Christmas. Do you wanna come? You're more than welcome. That's it for this week guys and um, thanks to everybody that's offered advice um, from last week it's really appreciated and been very helpful and um, the recipe for the rosehip syrup if you want to have a look at that will be on Chris and Shell as a blog post hopefully tomorrow and um, so yeah and um, welcome to all you new subscribers it's really nice to have you aboard please do say hi in the comments and we will see you next week. Until then, take care of yourself, stay afloat, and love yourself. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.